In land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A boy after battling evil saved Hyrule. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invariable friend. A friend whom had parted ways with him finally fulfilled his heroic destiny. Two fairies think you two fairies think great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. <laughs> you can't ta tattle. What would you do if you dropped it and broke it? No way. You can't touch it. Aw, uh, but sis, why can't I touch it? Try it out, too. You don't fuck up. Hello guys, me, Fucking John. Welcome to the Legends of the Majora's Mask 3D! <laughs> yeah, I'm playing two Zelda games at one time. That is not good, a good sign. Um, yeah. Okay, let's, let's get a move on. Let's go after my horse. But first, get these rubies. Why? I don't know. I just want the rubies. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Ah, uh, I can't cut down the sign like in the original. In the original, you can cut down the sign, but in this one, they they did that. This is basically telling you how to jump. Flip. It's time for flip. City. After my horse!
What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word. It's that said to it. There's no point of writing a thing like that. So I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee. <laughs> Aw, oh, boo-hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come on now. Do you really think you can... Oh. I let goes by so fast. Hee hee, now that's a good look for you. You'll stay down looking like that forever. Sissies! Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me! I'm still here! Tattle, you can't leave without me! You! If it wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gone separated from my brother! Well, just don't sit there, Deku Boy, do something! Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? You're a ball of light. Well, you stop staring and just open the door for me. Please, come on. A helpless little girl is, is asking you, asking you. So hurry up. Oh, Tattle, I wonder if that child will be all right on his own. Okay, a lot of cutscenes because, you know beginning of the game. But this is one of my favorite Zeldas. I don't even know. I don't even know if, uh... I've had, I played this on the original Sin 64. It was fun. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. Uh, so, um, that stuff back there. I, um, apologize. So, take me with you. You want to know about that Skull Kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just happen to be have an idea where he might be going. Tell me where, take me with you, and I'll help you out. Deal, please. Good. So you then it's settled. Now then, I'll I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle. So um, uh, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Now. That we've gotten all of that straightened up. Out. Out. Can't. Nah. Can we stop messing around and get moving? I figured something out. Press left on the D-pad. And I'll tell it to you. Hopefully you manage to get by without any help until then. I don't know what you're talking about. You broke the fourth wall. Oh, yeah, I'm playing this on a new Nintendo 3DS, because that's what I have. And, um, the camera moving around is due to the C-stick, as they call it. Yes, I know how to use a flower. I completed the game before. I had to look up a guide, because then things were changed. Ah, I love this game. Okay, mm-hmm. Okay, I know what they need to do here. There's a chest in here that you don't really need to get, but I prefer you get it. 
because this is the only time you're in here. Ba -ba -da -da -da. You got the Deku Nut. Press B while flying to drop a Deku Bomb. Upon impact, it makes burning flashers, freezes enemies, and their threats. Do you know how to use an item? It's pretty important. Tap blah on the lower screen to bring up the select item screen. Select an item using the circle pad and assign it to X, Y, 1, or 2 on the right. You can also tap the side to assign an item, so do it whatever you do best. Once you've assigned an item, press the cor corresponding button and tap the corresponding icon to use it. Easy. Yeah, um, my original focus was to actually get, uh, this set up, so it'll be set up like that. But I never got, never did that, so to do this, you go down the items, and you will just press X. Or you can just tap 1, 2. Alright, now I gotta move it. And then this is just when you tap it, so... Yeah. I didn't want to do that, actually, because... I want it to be set up a different way for me. Because this is not gonna work. 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 Because I want it to show the bottom screen so it make it easier on you and me to know what's happening. Also, there is gyro control somewhere. Hey, come on. Press L and talk to me. It's not working. It just says attack. So I'm not going to try. Uh. This strange, but the way you look right now sort of reminds me of this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. Remember that. <laughs> Just going to say that word. Just remember it. It's important. This is my favorite song in the game. It's the main fucking theme. It's so dark and gloomy! I love it! You have met with a terrible fate, haven't you? I own a happy math shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am, at a loss. And now, I found you. Now don't think of me rude, but I haven't been following you. I've been following you. For I know a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back that precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Well, to someone like you, it should be, by no means be a difficult task. Except... The only thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. Now, how grateful I would be if you you could bring it back to me before there, my time up here is up. Yes, but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Oh, one more thing. Please be so kind as to direct your gaze over to there for a moment. 
That strange stone over there. Do you see it? It's called a Shika, Shika stone. When the, when the world, world was white, weighted you down to worry, crawl inside and let it show you the way. If ever you find yourself lost on your grand adventure, seek the counsel of this wise old stone. It will surely help you on your noble quest. Well then, I'm counting on you. I love this guy. I l okay. Me, backstory to this guy. He was the first thing that ever scared the shit out of me. Because I did, I wasn't ex- Because when I played the first, um, original Majora's Mask on the N64, I was like, okay, uh, it's an empty room. Oh, all right. And then, and then when I see, see someone say, it's a terrible fate you have met, and I see this guy's creepy face, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Actually, you will understand why I'm ter- What the fuck was that? I don't know. But you'll, you'll soon understand why I'm terrified of him. Let's exit. Dawn of the first day. 72 hours remain. South Clock Town. I love this. I love this. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was, uh, sorry, just thinking out loud. But three days, even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. You're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know where, what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. I'm pretty sure the Great Fairy lives in, in the shrine somewhere here in town. Where? Well, somewhere. Don't press me for details. I come I come to this town very often. Oh, don't come. You could try talking to one of the those kids who hang out around town. One of them might know where the shrine is. I know exactly where it is, and I know... Oh, shoot! Shoot, 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 shoot. shoot. I know exactly where it is and exactly what we need to do. Now, if I were to head over there now, you would have to head out again and look for something certain. But I don't want to do that. Instead, I want to get this far away. Please, hear me, please. The Max Skull Kid has broken me apart and scattered me to pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fire fairy fountain in North Clock Town. No problem, miss. And bum. Oh, there's Cafe. Oh, shit. I should not say the name. I actually didn't know he would come back, but okay. Now, the way you want to do this is... Actually, interact with this first. Hey, wait, wait, hang on. This guy's a dick. <laughs> This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. You're going to need something for him in order to do this. Or you're going to get a game over. Yeah. Now, first thing is a tutorial. Save your progress up to this point. Yes, please. Yep. Um, this was, this is a new way of saving. You can only save at these statues and also one other kind that we haven't seen yet. In the old N64 game, you would have to save by either playing the song of time. I should really not be spoiling this, but it's something important, I guess. And saving at certain points. Oh, I want to talk to you. Hey there, little guy. Why you just deposit some rubies? Nowadays, even if people have money, they don't do deposit any. Nothing. Nothing. So, 
For a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rubies, you'll get a Primo wallet that holds a lot of rubies. So, what will it be? Deposit rubies. Alright. So, how much ru- how much? I want to deposit all my rubies. Seriously? That's a lot. A lot, a lot. So, little guy, what's your name? Hmm, Link, is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposit. Let me stamp you with my special link. Hey, relax. It doesn't leave any marks. It's not gonna hurt. There. Now I know you when I see you. Alright, little guy. Now, I've got a total of 28 rubies from you. Come back and deposit more after you saved up a bunch. Yeah, Tattle wants to talk, but I don't care. Okay, uh, I need to go to the Great Barry before the day ends. Because I really want to do what I need to do on this first day. It's annoying when I don't. North Clock Town. Now, uh, not that way. This way. Hi, Tingle. I should have kept my rubies. Because I gotta, gotta, then I could have gotten the map. But I want to enter here. Fairy fountain. Oh no. Oh no. The camera fell. I need to go and get a tripod. Now prepare your eyes for something terrifying. It's not terrifying, it was very uh, it's ugly. <laughs> I actually like the fairy design in this game. Tattle, and you're young one of the altered shape. Thank you for turning my broken and shattered body to normal. I'm the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power. As a sign of my gratitude, please accept it. It's a nearly neck on line. Large state streams! Shrooms power activate! You have been granted magic power in your current form. Press and hold B to blow big bubbles. Release and to shoot it. Aim with blah, target with L. The magic power. Your magic power it decreases when you shoot. Replenish it with magic jars or potions. The man who lives in the observatory outside the town may know uh, of the Skull Kid's whereabouts. Be careful. You must not underestimate that child's power, kind young one. If I ever in, if you ever return to your former shape, can you come see me? I shall give you more help. Uh, I'm not going to be able to finish this off in one episode. But, uh, yeah. Close up of my hair! <laughs> Sorry, I just love this game. So, um... I'm going to save and do, do, do the Bomber's Quest in next episode. Cause this... You know what? No. I'm going to push it to the limit. So, B... And you want to pop this bubble. That will cause this guy to go mad. And you want to talk to him. Hey. Are you the one that popped my... Pop, just pop that up there? Not bad for a deco scrub. Where bombers have a hideout. That leads to the observatory outside town. We need a code to get in. Maybe I can tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it e that easy. Can I just tell you... What the code is, you have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Sure. All right, line up, guys. The five of us will run out and hide in different places all over town. If you catch all of us before sun sh sunrise, we'll teach you the secret code. 
Oh, and Deku nuts aren't fair games. They break. They're bright and hurt our eyes, so we can't use them. Okay, got that. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Oh, he's slow. And Dingles is dancing on his grave. <laughs> Dingles is psycho. Fuck. Okay. Um, there is one back here. Sorry. Yeah, you caught me. There is only four left. Okay. And then there's another in here. Another two, I believe. He's clocked down. No, he does not count. He's the one that's blocking to the hideout, which we need to get to. Uh, I need to break you. No, not you. You? No, there's a box here somewhere. I don't know. I think I'm thinking of... Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of the main courtyard. So what you want to do is come up here. Do the shimmy shim. And you want to... Knock his bridges off! Three left, yep. You can't ring that, I have noticed. There we go, there's the box I'm thinking of. You stupid dog. I got me only two left. And there's no... There's one here... I believe it's here. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I, I thought there was one here. Yep, there's one here. There's one at each part of the clock town. Just to let you know. Oh, I could have done... Oh, wait, I can't even pick up the boxes when I'm here this small. Right. I have to do that later. But, uh, okay. I am literally pushing my camera storage minute limits to the limit. And, of course, I have an art cutscene. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <sighs> West Clocktown. Okay. Now, he's up there. So then I want to... I want to... Surprise ya! No way, you finally got me! You're pretty good for a Deku Spro. If only you were human, then I could have given you an original Bomber's Notebook and make you a member. What do you think, guy? No way, no, Scrubs. I guess not. Once we've let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, did he ever regret regret it, sorry. But to teach you our code, just like I promised, I can tell you only once. So, so pay close attention. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait. The code is one, two, five, three, four. Okay. One, two, five, three, four. Okay. Go, 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 Power Rangers! <laughs> you want to pass through this? You have to have a secret code. One, two, five, three, four. Hmm, that's right. You could just sit by this guy and compete continuously bug him and try to guess the code. By the way, that code's random every time. So you actually have to do that do that little game every time you want to get the code on a new start. Also, you're just gonna get something later that will help you remember the code if you ever want an easy way into the observatory. Trust me, it is easy. I don't know where you guys can see. I should really just start doing that, but I'm um, okay.
There we go. Die. Ah, oh, nothing. Tattle, I don't care. I love this game enough. I don't need your help. Eh. It's actually helpful if you had gyro controls on, but since I have to keep this still in order to catch the thing, I can't do gyro controls. Welcome to the observatory. Easy five rubies right there. Now, you'll want to head up here. Why is there a cuckoo? And you want to talk to Mr. Guy here. Well, well, a strange looking child had joined me today. Are you a new friend of the bomber gang? Hmm, your manners seem, seem much better than those of your mischievous friends from the other day. <laughs> well, Hell Manners' remark from the other day said to be break my instruments. He said to steal my moon tear. There's no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He proud curse, causing trouble around Clock Tower. Will he get into the cell? Yes, I need to. I need to do that. Now, if you look up, I didn't mean to do that. I want to look at the clock. A, the zoom in. You can see there's creepy moon, and you want to look up above here. Telescopes don't work that- Oh, come on! You a jock. You know what you are? You're a donkey. Well, did you happen to jump- Yep. And yep, there's a moon tear. I know, I know. I need to finish this off. Hence, I'm going to get this, and then save, and then quit. ba da 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 You got a moon tear! Its sparkling beauty ramates rather strangely. Hey, just to uh, know, I know, it's in gear, I don't care! Hmm. The moon sure is huge right now. It looks like it's going to come crashing down on us. But don't worry about that, silly. Moon, just focus on the Skull Kid. We'll know where he is now, and there's nothing left to do here. Let's go to the clock tower. And it's becoming night. I can't find the fucking door. Oh, I didn't do the thing. Oh, wait, no, that's morning. Never mind. I forgot there's one time that uh, there's something cool that happens. And I didn't know if it was now or, you know, then. I was wrong. Um, I'm going to go save. And then I'm going to upload this. And then after uploading this, I'm going to finish the first day later.